All right, friends, let's work on counting and number patterns, writing numbers in words. It says, how do you write this number using words? Well, what is this number? Yeah, this is number one. So I can look down at all of my options, and even if I don't know exactly how to spell the number one, I can look at all of my options here. I see this is one of the options, but I see that it starts with a sound, the letter T, t -e -n, 10, and I know 10 looks like this. What about here? Here I have t -u, 2, so I know that this is the number 2. And even if I couldn't read the entire word, I can hear that each of these words start with the letter T, and T says and I know that the beginning of one is not t. Here I see n because this is nine. Does one start with n? No. What about here? What is this one? Yeah, one. It's spelled kind of funny, but I know that all of these started with a different letter and a different sound. This one started with t, this one started with t, and this one started with n. This one is one. So that is the correct option. All right, here we have the number nine. Well, I can see that this starts with a f sound. Nine does not start with f. So I can see that this is five. Here, this one starts with t. Does nine start with t? No. This is ten. Here, I can see that this starts with the e eh sound. E. Is that the right one? No. Eight looks like this. What about here? N, nine. Yes, n, nine. These both start with the n sound, and this is number nine. All right, how do you write this number using words? I know that this is 10. So I'm going to look for the word that starts with the t sound. Not this one. This one says s. This one says t. Hey, that's like the first sound in ten. T. Okay, let's keep this one in mind. And what about this one? N. No, ten does not start with n. So it is not this one, it's not this one, and it's not this one. So it is this one. Let's sound it out. T-e-n. Ten. Great. How do you write this number using words? Well, I know that it's three. Do you know what two letters together say? <laughs> yes, th. Th together says. <laughs> it is the one sound that you get to stick your tongue out when you say. <laughs> Great. So let's look down here. I see that this one starts with. Seven. That is not the same sound as s. So I know that this is not the correct option. Seven is not right. What about here? T. Well, I can see that they both start with t, but there's no h here, so it's not making that s sound. So this is two, not three. So let's cross that one off. Here I see five. Sounds like a similar sound, but it is not the same sound. Notice how we make a different movement with our lips when we say five. So f is a different sound, and that is five. So no, that is not it. Here we have th -er e three. There we go, there is three. We found it, and it starts with th, just like we said. Next we have six. 
Do you hear that first sound? I think of this one like a snake. All right, so six. I know this one starts with because it's four. So that is not the correct option. Here I see t and here I see f. Neither of those are the s sound because this is two and this is three. All right, I can see six. That is the right option. There is six and it starts with the s. That reminds me of a snake. Snake. All right, here is six. Okay, how do you write this number using words? Eight. This one is a tricky one because it's going to start with the letter E, which normally says E, eh, but in this, E, I, G, H says A. And then we would have the t sound at the end. So it'll look like this, eight. All right, what about this one? F nope, this one and this one do not start with the same sound. This one is five. This one is t -e -n 10, nope. This one is a t eight. Yes, I see eight. All right, let's check the last one. S -i -x six, nope. So this is the correct option. How do you write this number using words? All right, I know that's seven. Do you hear that s sound again? Yeah, so we know it will need to start with a s because it's seven. Here we have our funny one, eight, eight, nope. Here we have or four. Nope, not that one either. Here we have two, not two. Here we have seven, seven. Yes, and it starts with our S. Good, so this is the right option. All right, here is five. This one starts with a N. Is that what five starts with? No, five starts with an F. F. All right, so I know it's not this one. That one was nine. This one is six, six. Nope, not that one. Here's t -e -n, 10. Nope, that's not five. Here I see five. Hey, that one is five, and they both start with the letter F. Good. How do you write this number using words? Two. Well, I can hear that it's starting with a t sound. This one starts with n. Nope, that's nine. This one starts with an o. That's one. This one's our funny one. A t. Nope, not that one. Two. Two. This one's it. Okay, this is our last one, four. Do you hear that sound? <laughs> Let's find all the ones that start with <laughs> Hey, this one starts with <laughs> And this one starts with <laughs> Okay, this one starts with T, so that is not it. This one starts with N, so that is not it. All right, five or four. So I can see five, five, or f or four. Good. So we know it's this one. Another trick is if we don't know how to read each of these words, but we know some letter sounds, we can look at the last letter of the word too, because we know it's going to start with f and then or. We know the last is r. Four. So this one starts with an F and ends with an E, so that's not it. This one starts with an F and ends with an R, so it's four. Great job. Amazing work, my friend.